Hi and thank you for joining us for this short video on United Healthcare's Signature Value $2000 Deductible HMO Plan. This plan is for Autism Learning Partners employees in Southern California. In this video we are going to go over the plan details and most commonly asked questions. Let's get started. Before we talk about the benefits of the plan, let's have a quick refresher on the basics of an HMO medical plan. An HMO medical plan requires you to pick a primary doctor or PCP in the network. The doctor you choose must be in the Harmony network with United Healthcare. This provider can be changed throughout the year by calling up member services and requesting a new primary care doctor or medical group. We generally recommend that this change is requested before the 15th of the month so that United Healthcare has time to notify the new doctor's office of this change. An HMO medical plan requires you to obtain a referral from your primary care doctor in order to see a specialist. For example, if you need to see a cardiologist, your doctor will give you a referral to see the cardiologist in your medical group. It is important to remember that there are no out-of-network benefits on an HMO plan. All of your routine medical care and specialist visits will be handled by in-network providers in your medical group. Here is a more in-depth look at how your signature value harmony plan works. Your individual deductible is $2000 and the family deductible is $4000. Your out-of-pocket maximum is $5000 and the family out-of-pocket is $10000. Once you've met your deductible, you start sharing costs with your plan called coinsurance. You continue paying a portion of the expense until you reach your out-of-pocket limit. From there, your plan pays 100% of allowed amounts for the rest of the plan year. Let's look at some of the key benefits of the plan now. Preventative care is covered at 100%. And remember that some preventative care screenings are based on age. The primary care office visit is $25 and the specialist visit is $40. If you need to go to urgent care, the cost is $25 as long as the visit is with your medical group. If you are not close to home and you need urgent care services, the cost is $50. Many employees think that the emergency room is always the best place to go, but there are many services that can be provided at an urgent care office. And this is usually because the urgent care is available when the doctor's office is already closed. Your issue may not be of an emergency nature, but you still want to see a doctor before things get worse. In the end, going to an urgent care office rather than the emergency room can end up saving you time and money. If you are hospitalized, you will pay 30% coinsurance after the deductible. For example, if you end up in the hospital, you will pay the first $2000 and then 30% of the bill. Don't forget that once you reach your out of pocket maximum, the plan pays 100%. As a reminder, your employer offers a hospital indemnity plan through United Healthcare that can help put money back in your pocket if you have an expected or unexpected hospitalization. You can take a look at this plan during the online enrollment process. If you need outpatient services like lab work or radiology, it is a $25 charge per service. Specialized scanning and imaging services are $150. If you need an outpatient surgery, it is 30% coinsurance after the deductible. We talked about urgent care earlier, but now it is time to talk about emergency care. An emergency ambulance is a $150 charge and the emergency room cost is 30% coinsurance. Please note that the emergency room is subject to the deductible. Earlier, I indicated that urgent care is a smart way to handle a visit that may not be of an emergency nature. Also, keep in mind that the urgent care visit is not subject to the deductible. Your plan has a pharmacy benefit with no deductible in order to obtain prescriptions. The cost of the prescription depends on the tier that the drug falls into. There are three tiers of prescriptions. The tier 1 prescription cost is $10 for a 30-day supply. The tier 2 prescription cost is $35 for a 30-day supply. And the tier 3 prescription cost is $85 for a 30-day supply. The costs that I just mentioned are for a 30-day supply at a pharmacy. But you can also get a 90-day supply through mail order and save money every 3 months. This is usually the best way to get prescriptions for maintenance medications because you save money and the prescriptions are delivered to your house. To find a doctor in the Signature Value Harmony plan, you have to make sure that you select the correct network when using the provider search. Here are the steps to locating your provider. Go to myuhc.com, then click on find a provider in the middle of the screen. 
From here, you will need to click on the medical directory page. And then select individual and employer based plans. You will need to select signature value plans, then California. And then you will choose signature value harmony as your plan choice. The last step requires you to put in your zip code to help you locate providers in your area. Once you have located the provider and her or his ID number, you can enter the information into your EASE online portal. Always remember to check if the doctor is accepting new patients, otherwise you may end up with a different doctor than you chose. I hope that this presentation has answered some of the most common questions with your medical plan for 2023. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope that this presentation has answered some of the most common questions with your medical plan for 2023. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And thank you for taking the time to listen.